Hello, this is TT. Welcome back to Game of Thrones the board game. Let us continue our tutorial. So we defended the coast, now we're going to do the Siege of Pike. Muster ships and set sail for the Iron Islands to quell the Greyjoy Rebellion. The Greyjoys have declared open rebellion against the Seven Kingdoms. You have orders from the king to muster ships and set sail for Pike to defeat their leader, Lord Balin. Okay, so the planning phase. You unlocked a special version of Consolidate Power with a star icon. When assigned to a castle, the star Consolidate Power order allows you to muster in its location instead of taking crown. Cool. So, assign your Star Consolidate Power Order to Winterfell to start assembling your fleet of ships. We're going to confirm that order. Action phase. House Greyjoy chooses to spend... Okay, so now we want to muster a ship in the Bay of Ice. Choose a sea region or port to muster your ships in. Choose what to muster. Okay, we have one more ship. Choose a sea... Okay. West Daros phase. Okay. So, yeah, nothing happens. Each player collects one crown for each crown icon on an area he controls and each controlled port without an adjacent enemy ship. Cool. So I got a crown, and then nothing happens. The planning phase. Okay, so March orders the Bay of Ice and Winterfell to continue a march toward Pike, the home of Balin's Rebellion. March order. Da, 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 da. Okay. Ships may be used to transport units to other land areas. March a single footman from Winterfell to Flint's Finger using your ships as a sea bridge. Okay. Ah. So House Stark against House Greyjoy. Play your Roos Bolton card to deal with a small band of pirates. Okay. Because he's got a two. So yeah, we beat Dagmar Clefjaw. Sail your ships to the Sunset Sea. Okay. Okay. Because he's got two ships in here, too. A mustering card must be drawn. Upgrade your footman and flint's finger in Winterfell into knights. New units and strongholds and castles. Gotcha. Knight upgrade. Knight upgrade. More ships. Okay. Bid on the three influence track. Okay. The Clash of Kings have been drawn this time. We will bid on the Iron Throne influence track in addition to the Fiefdom track. The Clash of Kings. Bid on the three influence tracks. The Clash of Kings have been drawn this time. We will bid on the Iron Throne in addition to the Fiefdom. Okay. Position on the Iron Throne track determines the order in which players resolve actions. The player at the top of the track also gains the Iron Throne ability, breaking all ties outside of combat. Let's bid three crowns so that we still have enough left to place a competitive bid on the Fiefdom track. Okay. And he bid two... How Stark now picks the winner in all ties outside of combat. You bid more than the Greyjoys, earning the first spot on the Iron Track Throne, along with the Iron Throne ability. 
because the Greyjoys only have three crown, we should be able to win with the Iron Throne tie-breaking ability if we bid three. Oh. How Stark can now grant plus one strength. Interesting. You did it. Using the Iron Throne's tie-breaking ability, you beat the Greyjoys to earn first place on the fiefdom track, gaining the first player ability of the Valerian Steel Blade. And then nothing happens. You have unlocked defense orders. Defense orders can be used to increase the strength of their area when attacked. You have unlocked raid orders. Raid orders can be used to remove enemy support order, consolidate power orders, or even other raid orders. Wow, complicated. Okay, so plus one strength to defending this area. Oh, you raid with the ships. Assign a consolidated power of Winterfell so you continue to grow our army. Support order. May add their strength of units in this area to either side of a combat in an adjacent area. Gotcha. Actions. Raids are the first orders to be resolved in the action phase. Followed by marches and consolidate power. Defend and support orders can resolve during combat. Sea areas are especially useful for supporting and raiding. Sea areas can support and raid land areas. Land areas can't support or raid sea areas. Because you are higher on the Iron Throne track, you will get to raid first. Use your raid order in Sunset Sea to remove the support in Ironsman Bay. This will prevent the enemy ships from supporting an attack in the adjacent area. Okay. Your opponent is now left with no adjacent orders to raid. He's selecting a raid order. Aha, and he did attack. So we're defending, and we've got a three. So with the Bay of Ice support, the defense order, and the knight. Uh, Caitlyn Stark is best used when defending. Play her to double the value of the defense order. Wow. Urine's crow eye. Fiefdom tiebreaker. Flint's finger will not fall today. That was close, though. You break the tie because of your higher placement on the fiefdom influence. Track. Your opponent's footman must retreat back to Greywater. Watch. Routed. Ha. Huh. Do you wish to consolidate power or muster? Well, it wants me to muster. A new unit type is now available. The Siege Engine. Four strength when attacking a castle or stronghold. Destroy this unit when routed. Ah. Use your two mustering power in Winterfell to muster the powerful offensive unit Siege Engine. And there's the two for the mustering power. And there we go. Four strength when attacking. That's awesome. Downside to siege engines is that they provide no strength while attacking an area without a castle and are useless on the defense. Adjust supply track and reconcile armies. Cool. Each player collects one crown for each crown icon on an area he controls. Awesome. Each player collects one crown and then nothing happens. Action phase. The king has ordered that you lay siege to Pike this round. His master of ships will place your orders for you during the planning phase, but it's up to you on how to resolve them. So he wants to raid. And they're all attacking. Defeat Lord Balin and Pike this round. Remove... 
Removing an enemy consolidate power order with a raid allows you to pillage, stealing one crown from that player. Okay. Your men have their orders, sir, but they will need your expert guidance for where and when to march. Once you take Ironsman's Bay with your ships, you should be able to transport your siege engine in two nights to attack Pike. Right there, okay. Choose a march order to resolve. Probably these guys. to attack Pike, though. Actually, hold up. We're not going to do that. We're going to go these two to Ironman's Bay. And we need to sink their ships. Choose a combat card. Is a three, is a two. Great John Umber. Okay, let's do that. It gives me more, so I win. The ship should be done. Asha Greyjoy. And the other ship left. And now that we control the seas, we should be able to attack. Um, how many? Yeah, we we should have enough. How stark, because of the siege engine, it gives us plus four. And we're going to put Eddard up there to give us the most... Yeah, absolutely. Victory, because we get the five from Tiebreaker. The Greyjoy fleet is yours. When you defeat an area with a port, you gain control of all ships in that area. Cool. Lord Balin has spent the need of the king, and you will take his son Theon Greyjoy as a ward to ensure the truce. Well done. The crown will be pleased. Oh, well, there you go. That was much easier than the last one. So that's how sea combat works. Victory. Hep. Battering crew. So next time we'll do Hold the Wall. So that's a nice short video for you. Definitely make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any questions, definitely shoot them our way. This here is TT, and we will catch you on the next one. Goodbye.